What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the drop rates for masks in the Fajnat event as of June 2024, and why the drop rates don't matter and why it feels like you maybe never get anything good to drop. This is something that applied to last year's event and will continue to apply for future years going forward until Bethesda makes some big changes. Let's jump right into it. So to start off guys, I won't waste any of your time, I'll be showing you the drop rates table first. I need to show the images of the table one by one as they won't all fit on the screen at the same time. I'll quickly show the lower tier rewards and then leave the rare mask tier on the screen as that's what everybody's here to see. All credit to reddit user Gilpo1 for creating this table based on the data mines. So to start off we have these two plans which are in a separate pool from the other loot so we'll get these out of the way first. These are a guaranteed drop from the event and once learnt it will never drop again. Next we have the basic rewards, these are a guaranteed drop from every event but with 5 marches alive it's a specific 2.70% individual chance per plan. Following that we have the common and uncommon headwear, with 5 marches alive they're all an individual 4.75% chance to drop per event. And finally the main focus today is the rare headwear which I'm going to leave up on the screen here. Now I'm going to tell you why you should mostly ignore all of this table and use it only as a very slight guideline or maybe just never pay any attention to it ever again. Now I'm over level 1100 and have 3200 hours in this game and you can see that from some of my other videos on the channel and I've been doing the exact same event here for over 4 years and it's the same story in Fajnat every single year. Every year it gets progressively worse though. For example, this is the rare mask loot table from just a few months ago in this exact same year. In Fajnat February 2024 event, the rare mask drop rate was at a 0.33% chance drop. And now, it's even worse in June at 0238 this has been going on for 4 years of Fajnat, so it's no surprise that people are getting pissed about it because Bethesda are actively making the problem worse with every update and not doing anything about it. And this is a limited time event, so that's even more frustrating as we get burnt out pretty quickly grinding the exact same thing day in day out when we know it's only available for a short time. And the reason why it feels like you aren't getting any glowing masks is simply that you're being reset to zero after every event in an infinite loop of a rewards pool. As you can see, the glowing masks have a brutally low drop rate of 0.2% with all 5 marches alive, which is made so much worse by the fact that the older common rewards that are years old are all lumped together in the same loot pool with the new and old rare rewards, and you can still get repeatable rewards again. It doesn't matter how many times you do the event, every time you start Fajnat it resets you to a clean zero and then gives you 0.2% of a chance. So there's no point in trying to work out any calculations of how many events it might take to get a glowing mask. Now I saw one guy in a YouTube comment saying that you need to do the event 420 times to get one mask and he tried to even show some completely crazy and wrong made up calculation as to how he worked this out. Now please do not overthink things like this guy did. The reality of it is, is that none of the numbers matter and all you need to know that the drop rate is a straight up 0.2% every time. The 420 event calculation that the guy was talking about, just ignore anything that you see online saying about that because the probability math does not apply here and I'm going to explain why. It's all down to the fact that you can get an infinite number of repeatables. The best way to explain it is by saying this. We've all heard the saying that if you repeat the same task a thousand times in real life, you will eventually get it right, and that's true, but the variables here in this event don't apply. In Fajnat, as I said before, we reset to zero every time, whereas that real world example I just gave you where you repeat a task, you'll start at zero and increase from there, gradually getting better. You're retaining the knowledge and getting better at the task, so the probability is increasing every time that you will succeed. Real life has probability, yes, but in the Fajnat event it doesn't, unless they stop allowing you to get repeatables so your chances do get higher every time. But for now, you do get repeatables, so we're just stuck in an endless loop. And saying you have to complete the event 420 times is just an outright stupid thing to say anyway, as you may do it 420 times, but some of the marchers could die, which then reduces your chances of getting a glowing mask and pretty much ruins the whole math calculation. He tried to claim, well, the event is on for two weeks, so you'll have better chances if instead of normal one week. No, no you don't. 
Sure, you can do more events, but it won't give you a higher chance of a drop rate as it still resets to zero at the start of every event and you'll still get the exact 0.2% rate. So you could do the event 10 weeks in a row and still get the same Al Mask to drop on every event because it's running the exact same balanced RNG all of the time. Probability literally doesn't apply here. Another really good analogy to use is that the loot pool is like the lottery. If you play the lottery once, it doesn't mean you'll have a higher chance of winning the lottery on your next go, even if you pick the same numbers. If you play again, you'll simply be reset back to square one, back to the beginning, because the final selected numbers on the second draw will be different than the first draw, and they can also include some of the same repeated numbers in the draw, similar to how Fajnat gives you repeatables as well. If you play again, you'll simply be reset back to square one, because the final selected numbers will be different than the first lottery draw. To put it into perspective just how ridiculous it is to get these rewards, in my old crew we had six members doing the events in 2023. Let's say we did about 200 events each and it went on for two weeks. That's a total of 1,200 events. And you know how many masks we got between all of us? Two. That's it. Out of 1,200 events, we got two. That's insane. It doesn't matter how many times you do it. It's completely random based RNG algorithm. It doesn't matter what level you are or even what luck stat you have set in your special. Now all of this that I've talked about applies for every single event in Fallout 76 with a repeatable rewards pool. There are exceptions to this case, for example daily ops. Now daily ops used to give you repeatables for the elder tier, but it was updated to stop that and you would get a brand new plan as a reward every time you would hit the elder tier. I know this because I went through years of grinding daily ops getting the same thing over and over and over again and I was so happy when they updated it to stop giving me the caged bulb lights plan 50 times over. Anyway, because you can no longer get repeatable plans, you do have a probability, which increases to get a new plan the more plans you already have from daily ops. And this can't apply to Fajnat because you're on an infinite loop of repeatables. Now that's the last I'll say on that matter, but I hope it makes sense to everybody here. It brings me to my final talking point anyway, which is AFKing the event. After hearing everything I've just said, you can't really blame people for AFKing Fajnat. Now I totally understand that it's annoying, you get into a server, you're the only person running around doing stuff and everybody's spinning around not helping, but AFKing is entirely Bethesda's fault for not fixing the rewards pool and making it fair for everybody. There's a lot of long time players who have been doing this event for years who have put hours and hours into the event and been rewarded with absolutely nothing. And since Bethesda do absolutely nothing to punish AFK players, it's their own fault entirely. Instead of punishing AFK players, Bethesda actually rewards them with a free mask up to 24 times per day if they AFK for the whole day. And even with all that AFKing, they still will probably won't get the mask anyway because of how ridiculous the drop rate is. So in summary, it's not really the people to blame on this one, it's simply the case that Bethesda are not giving the game and the community enough love. They've created a divide between players, and I've seen people arguing about AFKing in almost every comment section about Fajnat this year. And honestly guys, it's not even worth the time as Bethesda are just laughing at it and they're just sitting at their desks eating the popcorn watching us argue. So Bethesda, if any of you guys are watching this video, please, please fix this event and sort out the rewards pool because this has been going on for four years and it's stupid to expect people to do the event so many times in numbers up to the thousands to get one simple mask. That's it for today guys. For more 76 content, check out the channel, give me a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.